Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Klaus, this is my house, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial to help you guys out with the quality of your sound, be it microphone or your game. Now this has been spurred because I've been hanging out a little bit in the uh, Let's Play Critiques subreddit, and a lot of people there have been struggling to you know, just get the proper microphone volume or, or have it come out clear. Um, maybe there's too much variation. So I've made this little test recording, which I think highlights some of those issues that we're trying to tackle. And let's give it a listen. Hello, everybody. My name is Klaus, and this is going to be my noisy recording for this tutorial. All right, so what you can tell here is that we have some background noise. Obviously, we see it a little bit in these spots here, where it's just popping up. And then we also have this quiet section here. So it's loud, it's loud, it's loud, but maybe you have some loud game noise or something, and, and this whole quiet section kind of gets muffled up. We're going to try and combat these issues. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to take a look at reducing the noise. So we're going to go with uh, this little section of noise back here, and I am going to go to noise reduction. I'm just going to hit get noise profile. That's the first thing you always have to do with this algorithm in Audacity. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select it all, just control A, and we're going to go back to effect, right back to noise reduction. And these settings here are something that is going to need to be figured out by you. It's probably going to be different for just about everybody. It's what you're happy with. That's really what it is. This is what I've decided to dial in on. I also recommend going to residue first, uh, because as you can see, it gives us an idea of how much our audio is going to be degraded. If you can kind of hear that wah, wah, wah sound there in the back, that is actual vocals that are being removed from this section. So you want to be careful to not be too aggressive and uh, take too much away. So we'll go back to reduce. We're just going to click OK. And you'll see it drops a little bit here and there. And let's take a listen to a little bit of a, a snippet of it now. Hello, everybody. Right, so we can definitely tell. I can just isolate the section over here that was really noisy before. And you can hear we're not really getting a whole lot. However, there is still a little bit there. So the next thing I want to do is talk about noise gates. Now what this is going to do is literally cut off any sound below a certain value. I think what I really need to do is control A everything here, and then we can do the noise gate. Uh, okay, so. The first thing I recommend doing is going to this Analyze Noise level. Now, I do need to warn you here, this is a plugin by Steve Dalton over at EasySpacePro.com. This does not come standard in Audacity, so you will have to find it. But there are plenty of noise gates out there. All of them are super useful. I'm just using this particular one. If we hit OK with the Analyze Noise level selected, it's going to tell us that at negative 51.71, on the left channel and negative 51.75 on the right channel is really about where that noise level is hanging out. So this algorithm is suggesting to us that we should probably go with about negative 48. So let's take a look at doing that. We're going to go back down to the noise gate. Instead of analyze noise level, we're just going to select gate. And then it suggested negative 48. So that's what we're going to stick with. We'll hit OK. And we can take a little bit of a listen to maybe this section for this tutorial. All right, so you can see we didn't even get any amplitude coming up here at all like we did last time after the noise reduction. So basically what this has done is taken everything below negative 48 dB and cut it right out. Now again, this can affect the overall quality of your audio, so you want to be careful what you're going to do there. Uh, the next thing that we're going to be doing is looking into compression. Now, what is compression? It will help us with these loud sections and these quiet sections to bring them to roughly the same level. So I'm going to hit Control A to select all my audio. And we're going to go to Compressor. Now, again, with almost all of this, these settings are going to be something that you determine sounds best. So this is what I've decided. A 61 compression ratio on my threshold to go all the way back to negative 18 dB before it really starts to fall off. And I set the noise floor to negative 40 dB. Now, I don't think this is super important because we've already done that noise gate. 
Uh, we might as well actually even just move this down to like negative. Yeah, negative 45 is probably okay. All right, and let's do it. Now, as you can see, this has really amplified a lot of this, and more so, it's brought up that quieter section closer to where the latter sections were. But we're not quite done yet. The compression can introduce a lot of distortion, uh, especially because of all that pre-processing that we've already done with the noise floor and the noise gate. So what we're going to want to do is then normalize. Now, it's not going to fix the problem, but it will kind of help bring things back in line just a little bit. So this is going to end up being our final product. Let's take a listen to how it sounds. Hello, everybody. My name is Klaus, and this is going to be my noisy recording for this tutorial. So as you can see, it sounds pretty damn good. We removed a lot of that background noise. We brought our quiet section up to a louder level, and we weren't going too crazy with the overall sound. Everything sounds much more consistent. Uh, again, this is just a little bit of a tutorial. A lot of information about this can be found on Audacity's website. Uh, and otherwise, it's going to be a little bit of trial and error on your guys' part. I really hope this helped you out. If it did, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you back here in the next video. Goodbye. You should get to the point where anyone else would like it. And you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.